Hello guys, if you're writing automated tests with PHP unit or PEST in Laravel, have you ever encountered a problem that you need to repeat the data for HTTP tests or API tests all over again in the same test? So for example, this is the example from Laravel Breeze. By the way, did you know that Laravel Breeze comes with a lot of automated tests? So you can go to GitHub or after install Laravel Breeze, you can see how Taylor Rotwell and Laravel Breeze team write automated tests. So anyway, this is the registration test, successful whether the user can register. But this test would be much more helpful if there is a registration test for the case where the email is not provided or password is not provided. So it would test validation different kinds, maybe the email that already exists in the database and it would need to make a lot of post requests to the same register with roughly similar amount of data, roughly similar name, email and password, and it would be repeating. So in this video, I will present you a new package called request factories, which was pretty recently released and became quite popular from the very beginning. So instead of doing a lot of fake data for the users, like in this case, that package allows you to create a request factory where you would define the rules, define the default fields for HTTP requests. Let me show you that in action. Before we go any further, maybe some of you don't have that much experience with automated testing, so I can point to my Laravel learning path and you can go through levels and learn Laravel step by step with the links. And in the advanced beginner level, not the very beginner, but advanced beginner, there we go. And I have a few links to get you started. Of course, official documentation, but then a few of my videos from this YouTube channel and also a few courses. And this time I will advertise not my own course. I do have my own course, this one PHP unit testing for beginners, but it's quite outdated to be honest. So I will not advertise that. Instead, I can advise testing Laravel by well-known company Spati, and I've heard a lot of good words about this particular course from the community. So if you want to learn testing step-by-step, step, I recommend that. Now let's get back to our registration test and I will expand that registration test from Breeze with request factories. So when we look at our registration test, we've changed that by the way to PEST, but that's a totally personal preference, PHP unit or PEST, it's almost the same syntax. So the same test of whether the user can register now looks like this. So we have register request factory, which contains the typical values of user data, and then we override only some of them like password and assert that is successful. Next, email required validation. So we reuse the same register request factory without email. That's the syntax of that package. And then we assert the error. Then email should be unique. We create behind the scenes the user and then we reuse the same factory with the same email and check for validation error. Password confirmation validation is even more interesting. So the last two tests are interesting. You can do fake request. So you can provide the fake request as a factory class, or you can provide the form request class, which will lead to the same factory class. And you can override some fields with state, for example. And probably you're thinking, what's inside that request factory class? If we go there, it looks like a typical Laravel factory. Definition, you can use faker, and these are default values. So it's kind of the same thing as you use factories in the seeds, but you can use almost the same syntax with factories for form requests in automated tests. So now if I run my PHP artisan test, the result will be typical messages like it would be a typical PHP unit test. So nothing really fancy in the results, but the syntax of the test itself is shorter and you can say it's more readable. So you don't pass the full data every time, but instead you focus only on the fields that are exceptions. For example, without email, for example, create with only email. So every test is kind of pointing at what exactly it is testing. And of course you can read more in the official documentation. The readme file is really, really good with a lot of links to the factories themselves, how to use and all of that. And of course I will link the package in the description below. If you want more package reviews or general links about new packages that come out in Laravel community, subscribe to my weekly newsletter on my laraveldaily.com and I will link that in the description below as well, where I will tell you all the news from Laravel ecosystem every Thursday directly to your inbox. That's it for now and see you guys in other videos.